Time now for the executive edge, and we're taking a closer look at the impact of tariffs on smaller retailers, the ones that don't have the same uh, negotiating power as giants like Walmart and Target. And Courtney Reagan joins us now uh, with more of the little guys, Courtney. Yeah, that's right, Joe. Believe it or not, more than 98% of U.S. retailers employ 50 people or less, which means about 40% of the country's retail employees work for what's considered a small business. This year, this is United Legwear, and this company does have 1,000 people employed directly, 200 people employed indirectly around the world, annual revenues of $500 million. It designs, manufactures, and licenses legwear and accessories for brands, including Puma, Champion, and Skechers. It does manufacture in a number of country, com countries. China is the biggest. We see that the tariffs are going to inevitably drive inflationary effects in the U.S. consumer base, as well as price increases at retail, and uh, it's going to end up uh, slowing down capacity needs, retail needs, retail selling, and in turn will decrease our ability to build our, our, our employment base and continue to grow our employment base in the U.S. Gold Medal International is an accessories whole, wholesaler with $60 million in annual revenue volume, 50 employees manufacturing in 10 countries. China, also a significant portion of its sourcing. This is a uh, family business. We're third generation. My son is actually overseas in Southeast Asia at the moment. Um, and he has been here five years. Uh, he got married three years ago. He's having their, expecting their first child in December and the government's trying to put us out of business. Both United Legwear and Gold Medal International testified in Washington, D.C., hoping that the government would reconsider these tariff policies.